terms of their academy, it very much follows the aims of our football club in pursuit of excellence, the club's motto, in pursuit of excellence for everything that we do. And to be an elite academy, to be one of the best academies in the country, and ultimately to develop young players, professional players, to make it through to our first team. One of the ones that I feel really, really proud of as well is the Jordan Henderson story. When I joined the club, Jordan Henderson signed his first scholarship with the club and he grew with the club and last year Jordan was, was sold for a substantial fee to Liverpool when he ran on the field for England. You feel a sense of pride and a sense of he's a really, really good kid. He's done really well. He just deserves, deserves his place in the national team. We met with Justin a few months ago and Justin spoke with us and spoke with our academy manager and a marketing director about his vision for football and there was an immediate synergy between the work that we do in our academy, what we stand for, our principles and what Justin wants to do in Malta for the Maltese kids and to develop football for the national team in Malta as well and the synergy and the beliefs and practices, it just, it's a perfect fit, it just works, works excellently together and we're really excited to be, to be asked by Justin to work with him as well. I think uh there's always going, going to be a relationship with myself and Justin Harbour and, and Malta. I've had many years of experience working with the island, um, a mad sports island, uh, particularly with football. Uh, Justin Harbour for us uh, fits our whole ethos. Uh, he's, he's a professional that's, that's made a tremendous career for himself overseas. Uh, and when we first were approached by, by Justin, um, for us to get involved with actually uh, developing a footballing relationship in Malta and helping Malta to develop young kids, we thought this is the perfect marriage. I think clearly we all understand there's a lot of talent in, in Malta, we know that. Um, the, the problem and the challenge for Malta is actually getting in there early enough to help develop you know, the, the good, uh, uh, I suppose, ethos that you need in, in developing yourself as a player and, and having a football club from the Premier League guiding Justin where we're helping him in things like, you know, sports sciences, you know, good eating habits, you know, just good habits in total to become a professional footballer. And by having the Premier League club as his partner, this will help both the kids, their aspiration to part participate with a, fo a football club like Sunderland and the fact that Justin is guiding it alongside our leading um, person within our academy in making sure that we do find the next David Beckham of, of Malta. Mm -hmm.